then Mayer went on to show, Mayer went on to show that uh, this beautiful analysis that he has done, he went on to show that how this analysis that uh, the, he again did the maximum term method, he picked up that particular cluster ML star, that particular cluster which and the analysis fully given here that maximize the partition function. This is the same as the Lagrangian multiplier, but before that he showed that maximum term, maximum term method is the one that works. That is the maximum term method uh, that, that is sufficient in the in this in the in the limit of infinite size of the system n going to infinity, total number of particles going to infinity, volume going to in, uh, infinity such that n by v the ratio of number of particles of volume density is fixed. In that limit that maximum term that distribution ml star this distribution that maximizes that is enough everything else is redundant. That beautiful analysis of maximum term method combined with Lagrangian multiplier and he could show that ml and z here is the max. Uh, the uh, z here which tells the weight of a cluster that is, is the undetermined in the Lagrangian multiplier um, undetermined coefficient z is that undetermined coefficient. We show later that z is nothing but the uh, fugacity, but if it is that then L M L star equal to n and then we get n over there v and we get the beautiful thing which is called mirror cluster expansion that density is L D L Z L. So, now we have a beautiful relation in terms of the cluster integrals B L and cluster integrals are nothing but those integrals, those integrals that contain intermolecular interaction. So, because of the cluster integrals, we have now the connection, we have built the guys, we made the connection with the intermolecular interactions and the. Um, yeah. So, uh, this is a beautiful stuff. Then he went on and to go back. So, this now write the partition function at about one particular distribution. So, we are talking of distribution of distributions because ML gives a number of clusters of size L and but we have picked up one particular such distribution which call it ML star. Uh, for example, that can be in a 100 particle system M1 can be 58, M2 can be 32, M3 can be 12 something like that and they are they must add up to uh, A. So, M1 is uh, 58 when there, there that means uh, there are um, um, 51 monomers, then I say okay there are 12 dimers that means 2 into 12, 24 particles in that. So, 58 plus 24 is now 82, then I have 6, six trimer, so that is 18. So, I will have now 100, I say I have that is the distribution I have that maximizes. Now, when n is not 100, but billions of billions, then a distribution I pick up like that is one that is representative of the system. Then I can go and calculate the partition function. Once I know the partition function, I get the free energy and then from this partition I get the free energy and from the free energy I can get the pressure which is the ADVT here and then I can show by using this uh, relation ML star VBL ZL, I get this thing, okay. So, now um, then this is another such cluster expansion which is my, the Mayer's theory. And then the further developments is done in terms of reducible cluster integrals because um, uh, the, the, those are BL contains both chain and ring. So, you have to break down into rings and chain separately and evaluate them separately that has been done for a fairly um, complex number of systems, very large number of um, things. And um, so, this is called deduction in terms of reducible cluster integrals and the definitions one can do like a beta 1 is these quantities beta 1 then this is called beta 2. Now, you can see if I have only chains and rings that beta 1 beta 2 is enough and if I have only chains in my system no rings like in dilute light with gases then beta 1 is enough. What turned out now beta 1 is the second variable coefficient this become the third variable coefficient that is the beauty of Mayer's theory. Now, we play the same game how many of these beta 1 in the system I call that n l and then how many ways I can distribute into the n l the same omega and then I make the product of the two and I get a just like mere partition function another expression which is the story goes that well, jo well Joseph Mayer could do the earlier this derivation he could do this thing. Uh, he was uh, 
he was he could do thing he was stuck he could not go to reducible cost integral and the further development the further development was done uh, by his wife maria gopard mayer who entered to give a, get a nobel prize for his work on nuclear cell theory so maria gopard mayer whom uh, mayer met uh, met in gottingen and married and brought her to columbia university was instrumental in many many such such calculations of combinatorial scientific thing so when does that then one goes on and one can uh, go on to describe the theory of condensation into um, in a beautiful way uh, that means he could he could uh, one could use these things and uh, one could now show the, get the maximum term method and one can show from the maximum term method that this is uh, two things that one does that maximum term method gives this ml star what we already showed is vbl zl and z is the fugacity and bl one can show is this quantity uh, it has it exponential scaling then one goes to ml and since ml goes as bl to the power Z, zl and since uh, bl uh, bl uh, uh, sorry uh, ml is um, uh, v v b l z l and b goes as b not to the power l z l so you combine and get b not to the power z l and when fugacity changes such that z becomes greater than b not inverse then you suddenly have very large clusters appearing in the system which is shown here as a distribution of L M L is F versus L. Uh, L M L is the number of clusters of size L and L is number of particles in that clusters. A M L L M L is number of clusters uh, of uh, number of particles in uh, this size of cluster L, and that then has this beautiful uh, Mayer's picture is that a big large cluster appears in the system, and that is a gas liquid uh, transition. So this is the coexistence. This would become the liquid. So, Mayer did not quite get there, but he got the picture right. Uh, his uh, formulation was rather extended to in many, many great directions. And so, there is a beautiful scaling also that depict, uh, de, uh, there is a plot depicting the distribution of cluster sizes. Then, what one does, the next thing was a wonderful, wonderful thing that is a virial expansion of, of Mayer's theory. So, Mayer then went on to show that in a low density or large volume, uh, he can work his theory around and show that the free energy and the partition function and the free energy and the pressure has an expansion in density, which essentially comes from these two things. One is pressure is B L Z to the power L and density is L B L Z L. So, these are two series, this is series 1 and this is series 2. Now, I can eliminate the fugacity from series 1 and 2 and I can get a series of pressure in terms of density and that exactly is a real series. That was what was done by Mayer and it is described here. So, we go now, write down the partition function just like this is the uh, all the binary, this is the binary. So, these are all the, the binary chain, these are these things, uh, 2A bonds and just keep these two terms, nothing else uh, because this has uh, a low, low density or uh, large volume limit. And then I can uh, do so, the, this one is just ideal gas V to the power n. Main, not, then this is the what there are how many ways I can have the n number of particles get into that's the dimer that is n into n minus 2 by this and v to the power n minus 2 come out because the two integrals are here. So, it is v to the power n minus 2 and then I have other one will be 3 particles n into n minus 1 n minus 2 by 6 and v to the power n minus 3 I am not taking that into account. So, now I can if I take that this quantity then I can change again origin to 1 and this becomes 1, 2, this becomes 1, 2 then I this becomes that thing and 1 I integrate I get a V. 
so then I get this kind of thing and n is very large, so this can be neglected, I get n square by 2 Vn minus 1. Then Vn minus one n square by 2 and this integral, now I define this integral as beta 1 and then I get n square beta 1 by V as this, uh, mm, this term. Then I go and calculate the free energy uh, from in this will work case Boltzmann constant. Then I, I, I work it out, then this is the ideal gas term. Then this is the term that coming from retaining only the chain diagram beta 1, dimer sorry only the dimer. And then when I do that, I found that uh, this is the, uh, sorry this is all the work case. Uh, this is the correction that comes to pressure beta 1 by 2 V and uh, this small v is uh, uh, v by n and uh, then you get this, uh, this is the correction that comes out. That means pressure P v by n cavity becomes 1 minus rho beta 1 by v and this we know now compare this with the Virial series, you get uh, 1 plus v2, you will find all these calculations are done here and this will be passed on to you. So, one gets the first term of the Fidel series and that is a beautiful thing that you get now molecular expression. The important thing is a molecular expression of the Fidel series and that is in terms of uh, the series, this would be U R. So, so I now have second Fidel coefficient in terms of V R R square F R. So, this is the second Fidel coefficient and F R is e to the power minus beta U R minus 1. So, this now tells a way to do the second virial coefficient. Now, this is played a very, very important role, this particular derivation of second virial coefficient played an exceedingly important role and this is the following. So, now I have a second virial coefficient which is given in terms of three factor, I am not too interested in that. Dr R square F R, and then I have okay, of course, 4 pi and other things are there and density. Now, you are to be so before this, we did not have we had forms like Leonard Jones interaction potential, but we did not know how to get them quantum calculations they are far off and very difficult. But now suddenly I have a beautiful expression of the second virial coefficient. So, I go to Vandero um, uh, equation I can I get the this part which will be quite uh, nicely given by the second virial coefficient. Now, I do the temperature dependence of this guy. So, I get now second virial coefficient temperature dependence. So, now I fit it. So, by knowing the temperature dependence of second virial coefficient experimentally and knowing Mayer's expression of the second virial coefficient in terms of interaction potential, I could now get the uh, my. So, this was the first time. So, these values of epsilon and values of sigma in the interaction potential, they came out first time were calculated by using Mayer's expression of the second virial coefficient. So, Mayer's expression of second and third virial coefficient and fourth virial coefficient played a very, very important role. Be, uh, people started doing a molecular microscopic theory of condensation. Uh, they get the virial coefficient. Now, they see the virial coefficients which were introduced phenologically the uh, virial coefficient of interest by because this was written down uh, p uh, p, uh, p p by rho kbt p by rho kbt it was written at 1 the ideal gas b2 rho plus b3 rho rho cube so these are just virial coefficients second virial coefficient, third virial coefficient, fourth, they are phenomenological. This was virial did it phenomenologically from, from the 
experimentally determined equation of state. But now Mayer told us what is B2 in terms of interaction potential, Mayer told us what is B3 in terms of interaction potential. Now I can go back use Mayer's expression and the experimental values of secondary real coefficient temperature dependence, I can get the interaction potential. So this was the, the a huge significance of this approach, the cluster expansion, the Mayer A function, the cluster integrals B L and irreducible contraction beta 1 which you can work out they are all done here was to get the interaction potential. So the, the, we talk all these days the force fields, all the, all the, all the uh, glory of things to computer simulations, we derive very complex systems, but the fast things came out. So, the Burial series was more than 100 years old, I, I, even at the time of uh, Mayer, it was uh, 40, 50 years old, but one did not know, knew that it is coming from interaction coefficient. One can expand Van der Waals equation of state and get the Burial series, but one found out that does not work. That means that is how actually A and B was determined, but that did not work too well. because they are phenological, they are uh, uh, not robust, but Mayer's theory gave us a robust way to look into the in, uh, interaction potential and evaluate and that played extremely important role uh, uh, in our development. So even today, the, the values of the force field that we call for argon, the sigma and epsilon come from these kind of things, uh, that epsilon is 119k that comes from this analysis and so, uh, so there are certain limitations of Mayer's theory that uh, this is the ideal gas and this is the Mayer's, uh, unfortunately if you do Mayer's theory, uh, the, you know it, 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 it kind of gives the condensation, but then it, it remains flat uh, and there are many, many reasons for that and we are not going to go into that in, uh, in this detail, you can get that in the book. Then there are uh, many studies, beautiful, beautiful studies that have been done. So we are talking of this uh, uh, finite, finite um, uh, 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 to the Bell polynomials. The Bell polynomials are a class of generalized polynomials, very powerful polynomials, which exactly has the same form here. We nobody knew, Mayer did not know. We did not know for many years. But the advantage is that if that is so, then there be beautiful recursion relations which we can use now and this is the recursion relation, Bell polynomial recursion relation which now can be used to evaluate Mayer partition function and that is a beautiful stuff and you get this beautiful relation of Mayer partition. So now if we can have some reasonable cluster integrals then we can do a good job, but the difference is that this problem remain. We made considerable progress, but we did not solve the problem because the reducible cluster integrals are not available, even today they are not available. Uh, Irreducible cluster integrals have been evaluated by great pain and uh, it did not, it works out somewhat better for many techniques are there for hard sphere kind of a system when there is no attraction. It works out reasonably well, there is a very large number of virial, uh, reducible cluster integral virial coefficients has been evaluated up to 11 and uh, that means beta, beta irreducible cluster integrals up to beta 10 has been done. Uh, by graph theoretical methods, a method the Mayer initiated, uh, but but uh, for Leonard Jones it has been done only up to some 6 or 7 uh, irreducible cluster integrals. So that is not enough because when it goes to liquid phase then all the particles become connected. So there is a kind of a gel that forms and the Mayer's theory breaks down, but you know, but uh, we should be happy with what we have got mm, and there is some mm, things that are done. So, we will stop here today and uh, there are some old articles that we wrote long, long time ago and this described in the book uh, that the applications of Mayer partition function to the, to the real systems. And uh, so we stop here now.